Let's quickly talk about how we want to set the squelch on our scanner radios. If you set it too high, you're going to miss out on some transmissions, especially the weak ones. And if you set it too low, all you're going to hear is static, and it's really not going to be an enjoyable scanner radio experience for you. So the first thing we want to do is figure out where the squelch dial is on our scanner radio. On radios like this Radio Shack radio here, it is a separate dial next to our volume knob. And on this whistle radio, it is outside of the volume knob. So the center pin here is the volume and the outside collar is our squelch. And on a radio like this Uniden radio, where you have a combo knob, what you have to do is first press function, then press down, and then you can adjust your squelch. So it's very important to know how to adjust the squelch using the scanner radio that you have at your disposal. So in this example, we're going to use this Uniden BCD160DN. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you are in an analog channel. You cannot do this on a digital channel at all. So no DMR, no NXDN, no P25. Make sure it's analog, whether it's AM or FM. The next thing you want to do if you're using this on a stored memory channel is make sure that that memory channel is using CSQ. In other words, no PL, no DPL. To make it easier, I'm just going to put something into the VFO by pressing hold, then putting in a frequency, and then pressing hold again. I am then, on this radio, going to hit function, and then push down on the multi-dial, and then turn the multi-dial until I can hear the squelch. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the squelch until the noise stops. Once we're at a point where we're no longer hearing the background hiss coming through our scanner speaker, our squelch is set. If you want to click it up one more click for good measure, then that's up to you. But for the most part, leaving it right here is the perfect squelch setting. So I hope that helps you set the squelch properly on your scanner radio. And if you're looking for more help with your scanner, make sure you follow this channel and give me a thumbs up. Let me know that this is the kind of video that you want to see more of.